So how y'all doing today? This is Ernest with Zero Time Trucks in Crystal City, uh, Texas. So today we got us a 99 uh, Peterbilt 379. It's got a Cat two, uh, 3406E 2WS. And the, uh, the customer, Mr. Matthew, he just recently purchased this truck and found out we do engine health tests. So for what I understand, this engine had a overhaul on it not long before he purchased it. So he just wants to know the, the condition of the engine, uh, see what he's up against. I mean, we would expect not to see a whole lot, but we don't know. So we're gonna start off with, uh, let, me, let me get this thing started for you. And uh, it starts and drives and runs, <coughs> runs fine. Hell, I would have I would have bought the truck. So uh, let, let me let me let me start it up for you real quick. So what I'm going to do right now is just I mean you know there's not a lot of tests in Cat ET for this engine. So one of the things we're going to do is a cylinder cutout test just to. Just to see how we're going. We have no active code, so let me show you. All right, so uh, you can see we have no no active codes. We've got nothing. Everything is good. So I'm gonna get this thing started up for you. And then we're going to do a cylinder cutout test real quick, show you the results. All right, so I started the test, so we'll run through it, and then we'll show you what the results are. All right, so I had to restart the test. It's not going to finish it because my temperature is going to come down too low. It doesn't have a thermostat in this engine, so it's cooling down too fast, and it won't let me finish the test. But I just want to show you that, you know, uh, I mean, we're a little bit close. To, we're close, but... We'll keep checking. Hopefully we can finish it. There it is. All right, so we found out, uh, well, it says, literally says two is not okay. But those are the, uh, those are results for the test. So we'll just keep looking so we can figure out what's going on with it. Okay, so we got that, uh, Injector test, uh, cylinder cutout test uh, out of the way. So we saw that uh, cylinder two. It was said it wasn't. It was not okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to start scoping this engine. So we're going to start with the relative compression test, and um, so the amperage is relative to the compression in the engine, right? So as the piston gets closer to top, the more amperage you know the the starter is going to pull. So what we want to do is we want to see that the pull, I mean, the, um, the peaks are pretty even, that the cylinders are even all the way across. If we see one lower than another, then we start to have an issue. So anyway, that's the first test we're going to do, and we'll do that right now. You want me to start it? Okay, so let me, let me go ahead and get the capture. All right, so we're at cylinder number one, <clears throat> and you see the um, these blue ones, that's injector number one, okay? So that we're using as a reference. These are the uh, amperage that we use for the cylinders, right? So what we wanna do is see if, the, and we're back at one right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we wanna see, you know, how even they are across. If I can grab it. Yeah. Okay, so you can see cylinder one, that's five, so we're a little bit lower. Three, we're a little bit lower. Six, we're a little bit lower. Two is okay. Four is okay. And then we're back at one. Okay, so we're not too alarmed right now this could be valve lash adjustments it can be worn cam lobes it's not necessarily loss of compression but this is where we start looking so we you know we're, we're interested in these cylinders but technically we're looking we're looking at all of them so um anyway that's our relative compression test i do want to point out that uh you know we have these 
these drops in um, in amperage right here, right? So right there, we shouldn't necessarily be seeing that. So right there, it's telling me that we have a back commutator. So we, we got too much resistance on one of those commutators and that's why it's doing it. So at some point, this, this uh, starter is gonna quit, all right? So, you know, you know when we get underneath the truck and we, we tap on the starter with a hammer and, and it starts? Well, that's why we're doing that because we have a bad commutator and that brush landed on that commutator and now it won't start. But that's the reason why we're doing it. So at some point, that's what's gonna happen to this truck. So right off the bat, he's gonna need a, need a starter. So, uh, but that's okay. I mean, he, he's starting to know what he's, what he's up against. So, uh, but we'll keep doing some testing. So I'm gonna do a part two, and the part two is we're gonna start looking at the injectors on the electrical side. So, uh, you know, come back for, for, for the part two and uh, check us out.